I made 5,127 prototypes of my vacuum. Before I got it right, there were 5,126 failures, but I learned from each one. That's how I came up with a solution. So I don't mind failure. Enjoy failure and learn from it. You never learn from success. Successes teach you nothing. Failures teach you everything. Making mistakes is the most important thing you can do. What I've learned from running is that the time to push hard is when you're hurting like crazy and you want to give up. Success is often just around the corner. Everyone gets knocked back. No one rises smoothly to the top without hindrance. The ones who succeed are those who say, right, let's give it another go. Success is made of 99% failure. In order to fix it, you need a passionate anger about something that doesn't work well. Life is a mountain of solvable problems and I enjoy that. After the idea, there is plenty of time to learn the technology. There is nothing wrong with things taking time. Companies are not ingenious. It's the people in them that are. You need a stubborn belief in an idea in order to see it realized. Everyone has ideas. They may be too busy or lack the confidence or technical ability to carry them out. But I want to carry them out. It is a matter of getting up and doing it. An inventor's path is chorused with groans riddled with fist banging and punctuated by head scratches. Anyone developing new products and new technology needs one. Characteristic above all else, hope. Anger is a good motivator. Exactly 5,126 attempts to make the first bagless vacuum cleaner were failures, some catastrophic disappointments, some minor defects. It took 15 years. Prototype 5127 was the success. Failure is painful, but it spurs on improvement like nothing else. There is no such thing as a quantum leap. There is only dogged persistence. And then, the end you make it look like a quantum leap. I want entrepreneurs to be engineers and scientists and designers. They don't necessarily have to be internet entrepreneurs or retail entrepreneurs. Duty can come in strange forms. I learned that the moment you want to slow down is the moment you should accelerate. Having a good idea is one thing, but persuading other people to buy it is quite another. Good inventors are polymaths. They think with their hands and their brains. They're experts in design, engineering, and business. Hire an experience this year we plan to hire 200 engineers, half of whom are recent grads, young people are not burdened by years of experience. They haven't learned or been told what is right or wrong. With engineering, there is no tried and tested path. You try and fail and fix and fail again.